Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan, and thanks for joining us for our Tuesday update recorded on the 16th of July. Well, a few days ago, we were talking about that record-breaking high and how it stretched all the way from down towards Antarctica all the way up to Fiji. Now, we've got low pressure in a similar area. It's not quite as large, but it's pretty close to it, stretching down into the Southern Ocean, stretching up to New Caledonia, and getting pretty close to Tonga. So this is all low pressure in this darker shading. Low pressure means there's a higher risk of instability in the atmosphere. In other words, a better chance for rain. The windy side of it is out over towards Australia. They've got uh, gale force winds. And look at the southerly that goes all the way up into the tropical part and north of Australia. So they've got a decent big southerly going around this low pressure zone, but we're on the other side, subtropical winds coming down very gently into the north of New Zealand. And while it's been pretty cold in the south, foggy areas are in both islands. So some have got the cold fog in the South Island, others have got quite mild fog here in the north. And we're going to be seeing more of those foggy areas. This is a couple of hours after that animation we just showed you, which was 6 p.m. This is for 8 p.m. tonight. You can see cloud all around here, but this is the wet weather. So let me animate 24 hours going into Wednesday. And that Wednesday rain band comes down and across the North Island. A little bit of low pressure here, west of Hamilton. And a northeasterly coming down the South Island. There's a lot of cloud around the country over the next couple of days and because we've got lighter winds we're going to be seeing more in the way of fog patches. We've got our fog forecaster. You can find it at ruralweather.co.nz or please just download our new app um, or the app that we put out this year because it shows for, for example here in Auckland fog when we were recording this in the morning. Uh, fog comes back tonight or at least possible fog and low cloud and you might be seeing more of that around. That's just the Auckland example there are many other examples around the country at the moment showing some fog. So here is Wednesday's setup at lunchtime. Any foggy weather is likely to be replaced by cloudy weather. So some of you may not really notice too much difference in the morning as one transitions to the other. And a little bit of a breeze here and there might push away some of that fog, but there is not a lot of wind and there is a fair amount of humidity Humidity is not the same as being muggy. That's when it's hot and humid, but it can be humid on a really cold morning as well. And that just means there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. So you put in the, the sea temperatures around us, cold long night, perfect recipe for some fog. But this is a big system. Southerlies coming into Australia, snow showers here, gales, uh, squally weather for some parts. And then on our side, not too disturbed, uh, the airflow is actually quite calm. But we do have that little area of low pressure we just mentioned before around the top of New Zealand. So temperatures on Wednesday, not too cold in the north of New Zealand, about where they've been for a while now in central areas. And in the south, maybe a degree or two above where you've been. So Thursday looks like this. We've got this subtropical flow still coming into the north, but with not very much wind around, foggy areas are still possible. We've got that other area of low pressure out to the east. That's driving in an easterly for the eastern side of the country. So that means more showers and cloud coming in for both islands. Perhaps more southeast for the North Island and north to northeast into the South Island. And we've got one, two, three areas of low pressure for Thursday. And as well as Friday, although a couple of low pressure zones here, another one to the north, and another one out to the east, there's a lot going on. Although actually that's more high pressure, I should say, but actually just a little bit south of that, there's a very weak area of low pressure just in there. So there are a few things going on. This is the one to keep an eye on next though, as it drives in some of this wet weather for the top of the country, nothing too severe around on Friday. But by Saturday, remember that storm we just had a couple of weeks ago that rapidly formed? Well, this is in the same area. This is a hallmark of lows that form in this area. They can deepen very quickly, just as to the northeast of New Zealand. We're keeping an eye on this. It's likely to drive in rain. The wind, the damaging stuff's offshore, and the worst rain is offshore. Not much to talk about for the South Island, but foggy patches are still possible and some uh, frosts around. But remember, that's a northerly, uh, north to northeasterly flow coming down. So temperatures overnight should be up a little bit to where they were perhaps a week or so ago. By Sunday, there is that stormy system out to the east. But with this other low out to the west, kind of takes energy from each other, which reduces the extreme side of some of this weather. But this is still one to keep an eye on, but hopefully not going to cause too many issues to the eastern side of the country. And by Monday, those two systems kind of merging together and falling apart. But that low pressure zone is with New Zealand for at least another six, seven days. After that, we might be seeing more windy westerlies 
coming in from Australia, but there is certainly some uh, changeable weather around at the moment for New Zealand and the southeastern corner of Australia. That is all from me. Back again on Wednesday with our next update. We'll see you then.